holy shit, do I love Valentine's Day. Not only is it the gushiest, mushiest, most romantic day of the year, but for 24 hours, you have a bulletproof excuse for doing super cheesy shit for your partner. You can eat as much chocolate as you want, no judgment. And it's super fucking cold in February, so it's the perfect excuse to snuggle. Ugh, what's not to love about Valentine's Day? Oh, I don't know. It's just one of the most egregiously wasteful holidays in terms of non-biodegradable packaging, not to mention an annual mass genocide for roses. I could go on. Oh, come on, Ive. This is our very first Valentine's Day together. Look, turn off the jazz documentary and let's go out. Sweetie, I'm only on episode 11. Fat Swaller hasn't even gotten fat yet. I promise if you let me have this one, I will never bring it up again. You will absolutely bring it up every year. Yeah, but with less gusto. Fine. Fine. Honey, fine. Fine. I'm saying fine. Look at me. I'm saying fine. Just as long as it's, you know, low key. Fine. We'll have a quiet dinner for two at Mama Macaroni's where the breadstick basket, much like my love for you, is bottomless. Uh, you got me there. All right, fine. Let me let me change out of my binge and sweats and we'll get out of here. <laughs> it is the feast of St. Valentine. And I, Clayface, have met a special someone online. Dude, that's literally Jason Momoa. You're getting catfished. Jerry from Hoboken, New Jersey begs to differ. Awesome. So look, if he does end up murdering you, I'm not going to identify your corpse unless I'm like in the area and it's really convenient. Who is pumped for the best VD ever? I mean, ugh, you know what I meant. Mm -hmm. Honey, I am so pumped because it's going to be great. It's not going to be great. It's going to be the best Valentine's Day ever. Right, because it's so low key. Uh-huh. 